Hello there, I'm Rod Bach. I joined Lions in the year 2000. And? Oh, do we go back? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm Lion Debbie Bach with the Center Lions Club, and I am the sight and hearing chair for my club. And I can't remember like the year, the exact year, but I've been a Lion for about 15 years. All right. Why did you guys join? Well, when I retired, I volunteered at a food bank, and the lady who ran that was Pat Jaffer, who was pretty well known as Lions at the time. And for about a year, she kept saying, you should come to a Lions meeting. And for about a year, I said, I don't join old boys clubs. <laughs> and she just kept asking, and I kept making excuses. And one time I thought, well, okay, I'll go once. So this sounds bad, but, so I went to one meeting, and after the meeting I thought, well, they're not drunk, so that's a good sign, and they seem to be doing some projects, so I went back until the project started, and, and joined, and Debbie was still working, so she didn't join at the time. And, uh, but then yeah. I did, I eventually, after, when it was close for me, to time for me to retire, I. You know, and Rod had been doing it for a few years, and I thought, okay, and started going to meetings and joined. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. What was or is your trade, profession, or occupation? I was a school teacher for oh. 32 years, along with a lot of other people. And uh, I worked in Portland most of my life, and then when Debbie and I got together, we moved to Monmouth. And, uh, looking for friends, looking for something to do. And I taught during the day, and then I taught part-time at night. And when I retired, I thought, hmm, gotta do something, <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. Debbie? Um, I forgot what this question is. Uh, so occupation. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm a, I was, I'm a retired teacher also. Both of them? Um, well, he was at the college level. And I was at middle school level, so. Um, and uh, I'm sorry, I can't think of what. Well, that's it. That's it. Yeah. What is or was your favorite memory in Lions that you would like to share? And that was a real popular question from about ten years ago. Mine was real easy. I uh, attended the meetings for like a few years, two or three years and thought, well, this is okay, you know, some good things are happening. And then they said, well, next weekend, we're going to do road cleanup. And I thought, well, you know, uh, okay, I'll go do that. And the other new member of myself, <coughs> excuse me, went out and we'll take that path down there. And we got close to the grade school and on the little brick wall, the, the flower bed by the grade school was a syringe a drug needle and of course we weren't supposed to pick that up or even touch it but we didn't know that at the time so I picked it up and very carefully put it in the bag and I got to thinking not only are we making this town look better some kid will not pick that needle up and that's the instant I became alive. Debbie? Yeah, that's a tough one. You know, I mean, I joined the Lions, but then actually feeling like I've become a Lion, I think that really occurred when I was involved with um, the uh, vision transport uh, to the iBank, oh, mm -hmm. running those up to Portland, and, and just, you know, I mean, it's such a good feeling to know that, like, because I'm taking the time to do this and get the, it there in a, in a, appropriate amount of time for it to be used and viable that, wow, you know, I just, I, I had a little teeny part in helping someone mm -hmm. get their site back. What offices and or awards in Lions have you received? Well, I've been pretty fortunate. I've been a council chairman. I've been chairman of the Area Lions Site and Area Foundation. I was chairman of the Northwest Leadership Conference several years ago. And I just kind of lucked out. And then, um, I would say we've made a lot of friends in Lions and a lot of friends who have done a lot of good. So. 
Debbie? Yeah, I am. Um, um, I don't know why I'm blanking out like this. I think it's too much Tylenol. Um, sorry. Uh, Offices anyway, or um, awards that you've held. Yes, life. thank you. I, I haven't gone on to the state level like Rod has, uh, although I've enjoyed tagging along with him on those things. But I, I have been every position, like officer in my club, except for treasurer. Um, I'm not gonna go there. And right now I'm sight and hearing chair. And it's, uh, I've, I've had a few rewards and uh, awards, mostly rewards, but anyway, I've gotten a few awards and the biggest one was probably last night. I was given the presidential award uh, for my contribution to my district. And I, you know, that, I didn't see that coming, but it's so nice to be recognized. Nice. And can I add one little thing? Yes, you can. So when I said I was chairman of this or that, uh, we were really chairman of all that stuff. He <laughs> has done a, almost everything with me. That's what's made it possible. <laughs> so I see people who don't have their spouse helping out. Well, I've lucked out. Your team. To the younger members new to Lionism, what words of wisdom would you like to share with them? Um, say yes. If you join the club and there's a project to do, go and do it. Uh, if there's something you think, I don't know if I like that or not, go and do it. Uh, don't be shy about it. If you have a good idea, to share it with the rest of the club. Uh, we all join clubs that already have a set routine and a set pattern. Um, and people may not ask you to go help with a project, but go and do it. Just say yes. You know, what I would say is be patient with those of us who've been in the Lions for some time. Is uh, a lot of times we get a new members and they're in, they're they're gung ho, they're enthusiastic, they've got ideas, they things they want to do, and um, I just hope they don't uh, get negative uh, because I I know there are some lions who like we, we've done it this way for so long that uh, or that we've tried that before that didn't work and that kind of stuff. Just be patient and persistent, and it, it'll it'll be worth your while. It will be worth your while. Last but not least, how would you like to be remembered in life? Mm, I'd like to be remembered as somebody who's done some good. You know, we're not going to change the world. It's just being one person. But like Debbie said, you know, if we make a little bit of difference in one person's life. Do you mind if I tell another story? No, go for it. Okay, I'm sorry about that. No, no that's, that's why we're here. here. That's why we're here. Out. I know. So, David and I went to the local grocery store, and some young lady, probably about 20 or 25, came in and said, Oh, are you Mrs. Bach? Everybody knows Debbie. And yes, well, Debbie had this young lady in sixth grade um, several years before. And I'm standing there with a bag of ice cream and whatever else, and they're talking and talking, and uh, I'm thinking, oh, come on. And the young lady said, so are you still in the lions? And people said yes. And she said, well, I just moved into the dorm down at Oregon State. And the first thing I took in was my flag I got in the first grade. And I thought, oh, gosh. <laughs> I can't see that tear come out. But what a deal. What a deal. We're changing lives. Yeah. And I love it. Yes. So. Mm -hmm. Debbie, how about just, you? Just, you know, like, like I think most of us who belong to organizations like this, we just want to make a difference. You know, I especially, I, what I love about, about Lions is that you can make a any, almost any size difference you choose to. I mean, do whatever you've got inside you or ideas, but I'm more, I'm more local and I like making, uh, so I would like to be more remembered like by my community that I had, was, and then that way they will know also that Lions is a great organization and the things that we do. So I would just like people to remember that, you know, I took the time to try to make a difference in my community and give back and, um, well, you know, and that's it. Cool. And I'm not a very good speaker. It, <laughs> perfect. It, anything else you'd like to add? 
Well, I know one thing I, I remember too about uh, once becoming becoming a lion because um, I was still teaching for about a year or two before uh, I retired. I, I became I became a lion a couple of years before I retired, and I was out doing road cleanup. And you know we have we wear our vests and we're up and down the street and everything. And Monday I go to school and a couple of kids. I saw you. I saw you out there. You were picking up garbage, and it's like, yeah, I'm helping to make this community better. We're cleaning it up and everything, and, and they're like, huh, well, you don't just teach, you actually, you know, anyway, it was kind of a, it was kind of fun to have them say, hey, I saw you out there in the ditch picking up that junk. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, it, that makes them think, too, like, maybe there's something I could do, mm -hmm. make a difference, so. And I guess I would add, so, if you're joining Lions, what you're going to get out of Lions is what you put into it. Um, well yeah. said. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. True. Very true. You know. Cool. Thank you.